Welcome back to 843 TV. Once again, we are here at Holy Trinity Classical Christian School, and we again have joining us Liz Booman. She is a second grade teacher, as well as running the arts program here, more or less, the theater program here. And we have joining two new students, upperclassmen, 11th grader Sarah Lawrence and 11th grader Maddie Tollison. Now let's start with you girls, since you're new on camera for the moment. How long have you been involved in theater here at Holy Trinity? I've had the blessing of being in all of the plays except for one since the beginning of the school. So seven years I've got to walk with Miss Spoomin in her plays, both original and adapted from stories. Wow, how about you, Maddie? This is my first year at this school and also my first year doing plays. I've never done anything like this and I'm just so thrilled to have this opportunity to do something so amazing and work with such an amazing person. But that's pretty people. cool. Yeah. I didn't realize, so we have two students, one who's been here for, well, really your entire life almost in education and one brand new. If I may ask briefly, what drew you to Holy Trinity? The people, the lifestyle, the way that I wanted to lead my life was just completely shown here and I thought it was just great. Awesome. Oh, that's wonderful. And we can tell by your reaction that it really shows that you're excited to be here. And, and great drama. Um, I can yeah. see her. <laughs> her role, her interest. Ms. Goodman, let's go back to you and talk about the Skiza competition. This is the first year that you're entering at the high school level. How does it differ at the high school level? You know, it's um, in some ways it's, it's the same as middle school. It's still a 30 second production um, and we still compete at regionals and, and then go on to state hopefully. Um, but just the, the students are more mature at this level so you just get to um, add some complexity to the play because they can handle it sure. and you can um, give them uh, more lengthier lines because they can memorize more. So yeah, so it just sort of deep, um, deepens the, the whole play at this level. And I could ask, who were the judges, by the way, in this competition? What are their, who are they pulled from? Um, I think it depends each year, um, because I know one year we went, it was um, judges from different schools in different regions, um, or um, sometimes they pull judges from the host school. Okay. Um, so it, it depends. And then when you, if you get to state, then it's um, the sort of the heads of Skiza help judge. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very cool. So. Previously, we were talking about the Bear Skinner, and this production for the upper class is Perpetua. Tell us a little bit about Perpetua. Perpetua is based on a true story. Um, it's about a noble woman living in ancient Rome uh, who converts to Christianity and is arrested, imprisoned, and eventually martyred for her faith. Um, but because of her background, she was educated and so when she was in prison she kept a diary um, in prison which is available to us today we can oh, wow. we can still read her diary today um, so it's a great play a, about a, a woman's strength of faith and character and um, yeah well these would produce some exciting roles so let's talk with you ladies about your role why don't we start with you Sarah I'm playing the role of Perpetua and it is very interesting because we have her voice recorded in her writing and so I've gotten to read that and listen to her voice and then try to express that on the stage and you have all of the different relationships between her and her husband, her and her father, her and her friends, who are also her slaves mm -hmm. and so you have these different social dynamics as well as her personal relations to the people. Yeah. Well, and Maddie? I play Lucila, who is a pregnant slave. And as my first play, it's a very interesting role. And <laughs> it's a little daunting to have to memorize all these lines. But overall, it's very exciting. And she just, she taught Perpetua about Christianity. She is her teacher in faith. and. She's really afraid of being alone and dying alone. And as a pregnant slave, you, um, well, as a pregnant woman in general, you are not going to be killed if you, as a Christian too, when you go into the arena. You won't, actually, you won't go into the arena. And so she's afraid of being alone. And then she ends up going in with them and they all end up together. 
Those are complex roles. They really are. Young ladies to play. And, and it, it, what's interesting, I know you find this material, and it's my understanding that you actually translate it into the one act play. Tell us a little bit about that process. Yeah, so I, I've been really lucky to get to write, write all my own plays, uh, which as a director, um, makes it easy. It's easier to direct something you've written because you have a very clear vision of what you want. So with Perpetua, um, when I read her diary, you know, I, I knew exactly what I, what I wanted it to look like. Yeah. Girls, briefly touch on what do you like about working with Miss Booman? I really enjoyed that she does write her own plays and so she, you can see that she has her vision and she's so great at telling us how to convey that vision because it's a lot about communication between both the actors and the audience but also the director and the actors so it's a complicated process but she's such a well-versed communicator that she can compare it to other things we've seen and she uses lots of metaphors and you can see her great writing in her communication with us and that helps us as actors to communicate with the audience. Mm. That's great, very wow. eloquent. Well, this has been a really exciting topic that we've had talking about the drama productions and meeting you students here at Holy Trinity. So we thank you for having us today and we thank you all for watching this episode of A43 TV. Where communities come to speak. <laughs>